Hello and welcome to NTC Reviews. Today I'm going to be discussing my initial setup for the 436H, which is the high power outdoor cell CBRS providing 5G from FreedomFi. I actually picked up this setup from Rack Wireless, been dealing with them for the last couple years. Excellent support as always, so I have no complaints on that end. So I have set up the indoor 5G bundle. I had set up the low power outdoor bundle also providing 5G. And now I wanted to see what this high powered outdoor bundle was all about. Now obviously it comes in at a much higher cost than the other bundles that I had picked up, but it also provides four times the mobile rewards as let's say the indoor cell and double the mobile rewards as compared to the low power outdoor 5G cell. We are still in our Genesis period here. So it's a great time to earn those mobile coins and that's why I'm anxious to get this stuff set up and producing. When it came to setting up this high powered outdoor cell, it was definitely a bit more complicated than the other two 5G setups, but still very similar to the other outdoor setup for the low power cell. So if you wanna check out that video, just once again to get your bearings, so I'm not gonna repeat everything that I put in that video, be sure to take a look. I'll go ahead and list it up there now, as well as in the description below. Now I understand when you look at this uh, setup, it's kind of scary, because everything else that uh, I've been dealing or reviewing, let's say helium related, is always uh, relatively small, easy to tuck away somewhere, but not this setup. Once again, a completely different mission for this setup. It is providing 5G service and high powered service. So of course you're gonna need that extra power and all the extra components to go along with having that power. I do want you to keep in mind that this specific setup is going on top of a flat warehouse. This obviously would not work on my pitched roofs or anybody with a pitched roof. But in the future, I will also do a review on a different setup uh, let's say one that would be a little bit more forgiving and easy for the home and a heck of a lot more streamlined. But for the purposes of what I needed this setup for, this setup works great and actually comes in a bit cheaper than the other setups that I've seen out there, specifically when it comes to the antennas and of course the mounts. But keep in mind that this is technology that's continually evolving. So if you like to tinker, it's ideal for you. So just like any other technologies that are new, there are some nuances that you need to figure out on your own uh, because once again, this isn't so much just a plug and play. There are a lot of choices, as I mentioned, just specifically with the mounts and with the antennas and different accessories to set up once again, depending on your setup, your location, and uh, what your plans are for this deployment of the high power 5G cell. Since I already had a Freedom Fi gateway set up, and had an extra port because now this is the third radio that I'm adding to the Freedom Fi gateway. So once again, my ports are pretty much maxed out. So I will have to get a switch if I do plan on adding any other radios in this particular location. So right from the unboxing, just from the radio, I saw a lot of different components that I wasn't familiar with. But once again, there is a manual. There is the Freedom Fi website that has a pretty good setup guide, even though it is certainly missing a great amount of information. But once again, the reason for that is because there are many different setups, so they can't just put everything on there. They're just going to kind of put the core information. The rest of the information you're going to have to gather on your own from the specific manufacturers of those antennas or the provider where you're buying it from. In my case, this was from Rack Wireless. So there's a lot of different uh, information gathering that you might need to do, once again, depending on your setup. And the more that these become available, obviously the easier it's gonna be because people like me are putting this information out there. So uh, all you gotta do is find it and integrate it and hopefully it'll work out well for you. So as I was unboxing and uh, separating everything, once again, just kind of getting my bearings, putting the uh, pieces of the puzzle and laying them out so I kind of know where to attack. And then from there, I did go right to the Freedom Fi's website to get started with this radio and gather a bit more information. So I went ahead, followed step by step from the Freedom Fi's setup guide on their website, and uh, that went pretty well. The other information that I might have not had that was specific, let's say, to the antenna. For that information, I had to refer to the material that the antenna manufacturers provided. And once I had that information, it was relatively simple to hook the actual components up. But once again, getting the information to make sure I was doing everything correctly, so I didn't have to go ahead and repeat everything or damage this expensive equipment. Kind of the old uh, carpenter or handyman adage where you want to measure twice 
and only cut once. Now, once you are done setting uh, everything up, having it mocked up, once again, with the setup guide, it'll tell you to go and dial in to your gateway. And all those URLs and everything are provided in the setup guide. All you're gonna have to do is uh, pretty much click on them and it'll get you where you need to go. Now, the next step is going to be getting approval. So you're gonna have to send in certain information. Once again, all detailed in the setup guide, walks you right through it. And uh, I do explain that process in a lot more detail in the previous video for the low power cell. And it's pretty much the same exact process. You're going to download certain apps or use certain websites to get information such as elevation, your azimuth, uh, your antenna making model, and you're gonna have to send this information and screenshots of this information in order to get approval so that you can go live on the network. Once I submitted that information to FreedomFi, it took a while because it was during the holidays to be able to get approval, but generally they say within 72 hours, you're good to go. So obviously I was twiddling my thumb, trying to get this approval, checking all the time, and uh, waiting for that to come in so that I could start earning these mobile coins and see, all right, is there really a big difference here? Because I know there's a heck of a big difference in the cost. And I was not disappointed. Once I finally got approved and those first rewards came into my wallet, they certainly were much higher than what I was getting before. So, so far, so good. Not sure how much longer this Genesis period is going to last. But for right now, just a bunch of speculation. But it's good to see that Nova Labs is uh, doing its work. I know uh, with the uh, price of the current HNT token and still the uncertainty of what's mobile token is going to be worth, uh, many people are skeptical. And I certainly don't blame you. But I've been involved with Helium for a while. Once again, this is just my opinion and what I think but I see uh, just a heck of a lot of potential. And I certainly see the reward being much higher than the risk. Even though if you look at your uh, HNT wallet compared to last year, you're probably not gonna feel that. And if you are someone that believes in the Helium network and has been with the Helium network, it's really cool to be able to deploy these devices because it's one thing to just look and read what other people's opinions are. But now when you are using these uh, GPS track trackers and uh, mouse traps and car trackers and of course now the 5g it puts a whole new spin on things because you're actually using this and seeing it work and utilizing these apps and seeing the network working on the apps and seeing how things are getting filtered and channeled and to me that gets exciting that really shows that there's a future as opposed to other things that i've been involved with where i kind of just have to take other people's word and whatever happens behind the scenes happens behind the scenes be in there, right? It's not just saying, oh, yeah, it is the people's network and whatever, and the people never get to do a damn thing. This is actually, you can get involved. And uh, a lot of times what I tell my friends that are involved with, and they're complaining about the price or whatever, it's like, man, do something about it. You know, get some sensors, get active in there and start using this stuff. Because if you don't use it, how do you expect somebody else to use it, right? And uh, by using it, it should make you excited because it works, you know, as opposed to just sitting there with your fingers crossed and uh, hoping for the best. That's not really sound uh, in anything or any decisions that you make in life, let alone when it comes to uh, investments. So bottom line, if you're interested in earning HNT rewards as well as mobile rewards by providing 5G coverage via this high-powered cell, definitely take a look at this FreedomFi high-powered cell. And I will put all the information in the blog post. So if you want links, to the stuff that I'm discussing, it's all gonna be there. And as I mentioned earlier, I will be providing more uh, information specifically on different antenna setups for these radios. So if you are interested in learning about that information, be sure to subscribe, stay notified, all that other good stuff. You know what to do if you're interested. Thank you for viewing and good luck.